let's now consider what happens when we have a base that we raise to some power, take the result, and raise that to another power. So we're applying exponents twice. And I'm going to look at an example. Let's say we have 2 to the 4th to the 3rd power. Now if we were to actually calculate this, we would take 2 to the 4th in parentheses, the result to the 3rd power. We know what that equals. That equals 4096. If we wanted to work this out by hand, how would we do it? Well, we would do what's inside the parentheses first. So that'll be four copies of the number two, all multiplied together. Oh, but now we're taking that to the third power. So we'll have four copies of the number two, another copy of that, and another copy of that, all multiplied together. What I see here is three groups of four each. We have a name for that thing we do when we have several groups that are all the same size. That's multiplication. We have three times four is 12 copies of the number two. We should have two to the four times three. So that's two to the 12. Is that really the same? Two to the 12th power really is 4096. Now, there was nothing special about any of these numbers that I chose, except that they were small enough to fit on the page. This rule will hold in general. If I have one power and raise it to another power, I just multiply the exponents. When does this work? This works for any number b, as long as m and n are positive whole numbers. It works for any non-zero number b and integers m and n. 